It's Koi time everybody, my name is Tof and this is going to be a quick guide on optimizing your Koi event. Now by Koi I actually mean the pearl mullets that we have available during this event time. And for anyone that doesn't know, right now Ellie's water festival, summer, spring, water, whatever the hell this is event is going on. And it features a plethora of daily quests as well as a couple one time quests for some decorations. And a couple fishing areas where you can fish to get a vendor item that sells for 500,000 silver and stacks up in your inventory and Definitely. This isn't the first time we've had this event, and it probably won't be the last, but if this is your first time here, or if you simply want to know what you can do to make this a more optimal experience for you whilst you AFK and get all these fish, I'm here to give you a few pointers towards that. So to start with, if you hit P and go to your character and hit battle stats, even though it's not a battle thing at all, you'll find fishing. And the more ticks you have in this, the faster you'll fish. You want to have this at level 5 at all times, that should be your first priority. So how do we get it to level 5? Well, the most important thing is being in a guild that has has the first three bonuses. Most guilds in this game that are well established or have like a larger extra large size will have at least fishing level plus three and if you're not in a guild that has that or simply guild this you may want to look to find one during this event. The easiest way to get the last two levels is to simply get a plus two silver embroidered fisher's clothes which is likely sold out in the marketplace at this time. A plus one or plus zero base fisher's clothes in tandem with the pay to win fishing outfit would work as well. If you don't want to go with either of those routes you can go to the central marketplace and pull up the Balanos meal, and this will give you the extra plus two fishing bonus that you need. However, it will not work overnight as it has to be refreshed every 90 minutes or 110 minutes depending on which one you purchase. Alternatively, you could do a seafood crown meal, however, it is the same bonus and only lasts slightly longer and it costs much more. If you're a super high roller and somehow have the plus five fisher's clothes, of course, that'll give a plus three fishing ability bonus, but if you're watching this video, I'm assuming you don't actually have the plus five fisher's clothes, but if you do, then good on you. While the plus two silver embroidered fisher's clothes are actually sold out on the market right now, there are eight plus three available. Although this is expensive, if you buy this early on in the event, it will certainly pay for itself if you're AFK fishing a lot. Now, the meals are a nice little substitute and they do give the plus two bonus, however, you can't actually overnight with them as they only last for up to two hours if you buy the most expensive one. So here we turn to life spirit stones or a life alchemy stone. The life spirit stones shown here only cost about 800k, they give plus two fishing bonus, and they last for 50 charges, each charge lasting for 10 minutes. That is to say, you get 500 minutes of use, or about 8 hours and 20 minutes, per spirit stone purchase. These will definitely pay for themselves if you're using them to AFK fish overnight during the Koi event to get your extra couple of levels. Although if you do this, make sure that you go to your inventory and tick this little box to make sure that that is automatically reactivating every time it goes off. If you do opt to use spirit stones, don't forget that after they are out of charge, you can grind them to get spirit stone fragments, or mystical powder, whatever it's called, and this can be used to recharge alchemy stones or Vel's heart. Now if you're an overachiever like me here and you can get your plus five bonus from your guild and your plus two fishing clothes, you can upgrade your food consumable to a coconut cocktail. This also applies if you're using a life spirit stone for that extra plus two with the guild's plus three. Basically, if you don't have to eat the Balanos meal or anything, you want to be drinking one of these. This is going to reduce your auto fishing time by five percent. The green version lasts for 60 minutes, whereas the blue version lasts for 75 minutes. It's a very small buff, but it's also very cheap and you can just pop them whenever before you go AFK or anything like that. Of course, if you're completely active fishing, these will be completely useless to you. Moving on to fishing rods next, our first choice and the AFK choice is the Balanos fishing rod. At plus 10, this is going to give you a 25% auto fishing time reduction, making it clearly the best option for AFKing. If you're active fishing, however, and you have one of these saved up, or maybe one of your buy orders actually goes through, you're going to want to purchase... Okay, what did you run here? Aha, it has a dash. You're going to want to purchase triple float fishing rods. As you can see, there's a lot of buy orders here, and the price is already at its ceiling, so it's very unlikely that you're going to get very many of these, as I doubt many people are selling them currently. However, if you already have some from events or anything like that, this does make you catch three fish instead of one every time you fish. Our honorable mention goes to the plus 10 Etheria fishing rod, which has a much superior durability to the Balanos fishing rod. If you're AFK with a lot of inventory with a low fishing level for extremely long amounts of time, you're probably going to be wanting this rod. This is simply because the deterioration of your fishing rod is also based on your fishing skill as mentioned before, and so a much higher durability rod can be advantageous if you do not have a high fishing level. For quick clarification, when I was talking before about rod durability being affected by your fishing skill, I was actually talking about your life skill fishing level, as in mine here is Master 21. 
The higher this level is, the less likely you are to lose one durability on your fishing rod every time you catch a fish. I'm not one to encourage any pay to win or pearl shot purchases, however, if you are looking to get the most out of this, you may want to purchase an item brand spellstone. This is a pearl shot item that I believe costs about 4 bucks, give or take, I can't remember the exact price currently, and it makes it so every time you would have lost durability on an item, it has a 50% chance to negate that durability loss, effectively doubling its durability. I'm just throwing this in here in case you're interested, I'm definitely not encouraging you to buy it. This is certainly not a necessity, but this is definitely one of those convenience TM items. It actually is, though, because as your fishing level gets higher, you'll never need one of these. Unless you're AFKing for, like, multiple days at a time or some shit. Next, we have floats, and I chose the plus 10 maple float as I already had one of these, as this gives a plus 5% chance to catch rare fish. Unfortunately, with Pearl Abyss, we don't actually know if this affects koi or in this case, pearl mullets, or not. The game classifies a rare fish as a yellow grade fish, such as this grunt I have right here. This would be considered a rare fish. As it, actually in the description, you can see it says rare fish in the middle there. However, notice this doesn't actually say rare fish, but it is a yellow grade fish. That being said, it's also a special vendor item. It's not actually a trade good, and it's unique to this event. So we don't actually know if this affects the catch rate of mullet or not. However, I figured it can't hurt, so I'm throwing it on anyways. This is rather expensive to get a highly enhanced one, and they aren't usually readily available on the market so do feel free to skip this as the bonus is negligible. I would highly recommend the cocktail though, while this is also a relatively small bonus, it is very very cheap to do. Next we have pets, and as we know, the penguin or other special event pets do have a special of auto fishing time reduction. I do believe that these do not stack, that is to say if I have this dragon out here, and I walked down here and pulled out the... where is it? The Marmot, which also has auto fishing time reduction. They would not stack, it would only use the higher of the two bonuses. Therefore, you want to just have whatever highest tier pet that has auto fishing time reduction enabled. Now, not everyone's going to have a high tier of this, I understand. However, we did all get a free penguin a few months back as an attendance reward, so a lot of you are going to at least have one of these available. As a quick mention, anytime if you are active fishing or if you're simply setting up your AFK fishing, Obviously you want to check the box that is throw away useless items caught during auto fishing in case you're new to fishing, but also, if you press and hold spacebar, it's going to use up up to 10 of your energy and do a power cast. This power cast, I believe, has a higher chance of catching yellow fish, and I do know for a fact it has a chance of you catching two fish at once instead of one. I'm not sure exactly how all the math goes in towards it or whatever, but if you're just AFK fishing, it only costs 10 energy, you're likely not going to be using that energy anyways since you're AFK fishing, so I don't see any reason to not do a power cast right before you walk away is it only takes a couple of seconds to do. One thing to note on here, inventory space is definitely important while fishing, and while during this event these fish do stack indefinitely, you're still going to get other fish from these spots and they are going to eventually clog up your inventory. Therefore, I do recommend having a pretty decent amount of inventory space to continue fishing effectively for long amounts of AFK time. That's about it for the koi, but I do want to give a quick mention to these event quests. You're probably going to be wanting to do at least some of these every day. Some of the rewards include a Valk's Cry, a Stone, and a 30 minute item collection increase scroll that actually does get stored in your pearl inventory, lucky us. You can do these quests every day, and if you want to do a full run of the quests, you'll need to bring 5 cotton fabric, 15 bottles of seawater, and if you want a matchlock as well, 1 usable scantling with you. By the matchlock, I mean this quest over here is a daily that gives you a soaked timber square, and these can be traded in for a bobble bobble matchlock, which is a good starter's matchlock. However, this quest really has no purpose to be done if you already have one of these or have a better matchlock and don't have any interest in obtaining the bobble bobble. As for these dailies though, they do have relatively decent rewards, they don't take much time at all, they're relatively straightforward, and I would highly recommend doing them every day. There's a good chance that you're going to be here anyways for the fishing, so there's no sense in not taking a couple minutes out of your day to get your extra free Valk's Cry, your Cronstone, and your item collection scroll above other things. As one final note for anyone that doesn't know, the event area is northwest of the Florin Gateway on this little beach here, and you can also catch the event fish, the Pearl Mullet that is, just south of Heidel in this river. That's gonna be it for this video guys, my name is Toph, my character looks atrociously horrible, and I hope you guys have great pearl mullet catches during this event. I hope you don't forget to collect your free item collection scrolls from the daily quests. I hope this event treats you guys well. If you like this video, do please leave it a quick like. If you got any feedback for this format of video or anything to do with me at all in the future, do leave it in the comments below. I'll read every single comment and reply where is needed. If you like this kind of content and would like to hear more from me in the future, do please hit that subscribe button. 
It helps me out a ton. It's completely free. You guys are awesome. Every single subscriber that I have, thank you guys so much for that. I'm also sorry if I don't sound 100%. I did just have surgery a couple days ago, and I have all this sorts of shit healing, and I got all these drugs going through me and shit, so I apologize for that. I hope this video turned out alright. I am a little bit all over the place due to a bunch of life events recently, but I'm hoping to resume regular uploads starting like now or very soon. And as one quick final thing here, I probably missed one or two things. I will put them in the description or in a pinned comment whenever I figure out what the hell they are. Or of course, if you're a viewer trying to flex on me by finding something that I didn't, then by all means I'll pin your comment there and allow you to continue to flex on me. And with all that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.